Hey y'all, welcome back to Wine Now Elite. Y'all know how we do it. We get straight to it. And this morning, I'm getting ready to go to work. But I'm gonna do this really quick face makeup, but I'm gonna use just my beauty blender. So my battery died, <laughs> but let's get into this look. Make sure you've done your skincare routine. If you don't know what that is, or you haven't developed one, check out my recent video on skincare. I use mainly Casa Rex, which is a Korean skincare brand, and I love it. The first step in this routine is to apply all of your liquid products, okay? The concealer is the first in this step. Now I chose one shade lighter. After you apply your concealer, then you're gonna go ahead and apply your cream contour, honey, because you want to use that in all the areas that you want to create a shadow, okay? And once you apply your cream contour, then you're gonna go ahead and apply your foundation. I applied on the lower half of my face, and then also you're gonna apply it on your forehead. Reason being is because you want to create a seamless transition upon blending. And then next you're gonna see me go in with my blush on my cheeks. Now that all the liquids are applied, you can begin to blend. However, if blending is tough and you can't blend because the products have dried down, you can always spray your face with a prep and prime mist. This will get the products to wet them to you know not to wet themselves back up but this will get the products back loose so that you can blend them out and blend them seamlessly okay now the best way to blend this out is to start with the lighter shade of product and then go to the darkest shade okay the hardest part of this is just keeping your beauty blender from cross contaminating with another color i'm gonna tell you that now i always start with my concealer first because typically it is the lightest shade in my on my face and then i'm gonna go ahead and go to my foundation that you see that i have down at the bottom because it is the second lightest shade and then of course i'm gonna go ahead and run that thing right into that blush and then i'm gonna run it into my contour okay now let me give you a little, little let me give you some nuggets while you are watching me blend this out at first, you're gonna think that you are doing this wrong because everything is gonna be everywhere and you're gonna look like you are a muddy mess. But it's not because that's just the way that this looks because you're applying everything all at once and you're not applying it in, in steps. And I like this because then your face isn't caked with a whole bunch of makeup. You generally just have one layer of everything on top of your skin, okay? The only thing you need to do is make sure that you're looking at it with your natural eye and then all of your lines of demarcation are blended seamlessly. So where your blush meets your foundation, make sure that it's blended. Where your blush meets your contour, make sure that it's blended. So all of those parts are blended seamlessly so that when you get ready to do your baking, i.e. or adding your powders back to your face, they're not trying to do the hard job of covering up a bad foundation. You see what I'm saying? You can't put paint on top of a chipping house it just won't work that way so you have to make sure that your foundation your base is good before you start to put powders and paint on top of it i hope that makes sense and this is very easy so that's what you see me doing right here i'm just going back over some spots that i feel like need to be transitioned and it needs to blend very well it needs to look a little seamless to make sure the look looks good but this Doing it this way goes 10 times faster than trying to do everything in one step. Trust me, try it. Let me know your thoughts. And if you've tried this before, drop me a comment below and let me know. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's get into our powders, okay? First things first is I do apply a translucent powder um, under my eyes. Make sure you also look up when you're putting on your translucent powder because you do not want to set fine lines. Reason I put on that translucent powder is because I don't want to change my contour color. I want it to be the same color as it is when I put it on. If you put on a colored powder, it's going to turn. I feel, this is me, I feel that if you put on a colored powder with your, con with your contour, it changes the color of your contour, okay? And then of course you see me now you're going to go ahead with whatever contour you have that's a powder put your powder contour on top of where you have put your cream contour and then you go ahead and put your powder blush on top of where you have put your cream blush and now i'm going in and i'm going to bake because you did see me put quite an abundant amount of contour on my face so i am going to go in and bake while i do my eyes off camera that 
typically takes me about 20, 30 minutes to do my eyes. So I'll let that bake that amount of time and then I'll come back and then voila, this is the final look. You guys let me know what you think. Leave me your comments. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video.